arrives, the rain stops, and the sun comes out, and this is Blaken. The festival always starts with um, the parade from the school children of Blaken. Blaken Educational Village always get involved within the festival. They walked along Blaken Avenue and then they walked all the way down into the festival ring itself and then it was officially opened by our Chester MP Chris Matheson. Today we've uh, got this event recognising the best in Blaken and the best in Blaken is the people of Blaken, the people of Blaken that make Blaken the community it is. Today we'll celebrate it. Clouds go away, sun come out, this event is open. We've got lots of stores here, we've got over we've got 72 stores today and that varies from local people promoting their local goods, what they've made, we've got the new WI, Blake and Butterflies, we've got um, people that are from charities like the Water Babies, we've got the boxing there, we've got um, Scotty Snacks there that are supporting um, the new boxing club within Blaken. We've got all the churches working together, we've got Matthew Henry, we've got St. Teresa's, we've got the Holy Trinity, and they're all there together. We've got Vintage Blaken there promoting what they're doing. We've got Rewind, the new theatre within Blaken. We've got local singers singing, we've got local dance troops. You know, we've got some amazing people that actually live within Blaken, but also we've got people that want to come into Blaken, you know, which is, you know, sort of really shows what a good community that we, that we are. We're quite fortunate really to have, have a key role in the festival and we've, we've uh, arranged it for a number of years now. The main aim of it is to get the community together, especially the children, get the children here, get them talking to each other, getting to um, see lots of the attractions that we've got and activities we've got for them and also it gives a great opportunity for the businesses, the partner agencies, the volunteers to basically showcase what's on offer and what is great about Blaken. We've had a really exciting year with activities here in Blaken. Um, I think back to a year ago, Rewind did their very first performance here at the Blaken Festival. Since then, Rewind uh, has performed for the opening of the Parade Enterprise Centre up, uh, up on the parade. And we are now uh, about to perform our world premiere of Road to Rio. That's coming up today, but um, of course, one of the big highlights in Blaken this year is best days of our lives and that's where over 300 young people from Blaken performed with three professional actors, a choir of 60 musicians and uh, alongside a film which we made in Blaken over in Chester Cathedral in October. It was a really really special event for Blaken. It's been a, a busy year certainly uh, since the last festival. Um, the Parade Enterprise Centre was opened in September last year. Since we've opened we've got eight um, up and coming new businesses that have started up and actually moved into the building. We've got the library on the ground floor which is great for the community. We've also got the spa retail shop on the corner of the building. Um, but I suppose the most important thing for Avenue Services is the community room and we're lucky that we've got activities on there every single day. Things from Zumba to dance classes for younger and older people, from meetings to conferences. It's used every single day which is exactly what we want. The neighbourhood plan has been running year on year ever since Avenue Services started really and I suppose the main aim of it is to try and get investment back into Blaken and this year we'll be spending £75,000 on a number of different projects. We try and get match funding where we can so we try and get some funding externally as well into Blaken um, as well as working with the partner agencies to make sure we, we get the most out of the, the monies that we've got and that we generate. The Blaken Boxing Club, um, we've been looking to get it going now for a fair few years. 
Um, it's been a long-winded process, but we're finally there. We've finally got the venue. Um, finally got the volunteers and the trainers and we're looking to get up and running for the middle of next month hopefully. We think it's good for the youth, um, it keeps the kids off the streets, um, there could be a potential world champion in our midst, we don't know, um, but we want to do it obviously to get the kids off the streets, give them something to do, um, teach them about behaviour, uh, teach them about discipline uh, and go from there really and obviously build on that. I'd say to all the young kids that are looking to join, as, as Mark said before, it's great discipline um, and it creates a great environment, gets you fit, gets you in a good state of mind. So yeah, we are a really friendly club, we will be a really friendly club, open door policy for us, um, so the kids can come along, if they enjoy it, then obviously we'll, we'll continue to go with them. Yeah, I'd just like to see to everyone to come down and give it a try, you know, some people look at boxing at, at that it's, it's, a, it's a form of fighting, it, does it, it, it gives off the wrong opinion sometimes, but it definitely doesn't if you do it the right way and it's run the right way, self-discipline, self-respect. And it, and it creates a good environment for, for the lads who are going to be fit, focused, you know, going out to competitions at the weekend and, and really knuckling down to the boxing. So it's definitely worth coming down to give it a try. But, you know, I'm really pleased and I'm really proud of Blaken as a whole to see what we do. Look of it, you know, just, you know, people are there, people are happy. You know, the Blaken Adventure Playground are, have made a, a really important part of this festival. They're making sure all the music's on there, the PA system's there, the compare's there. You know, we couldn't ask for a better all agencies within Blaken working together. We've got the Children's Centre doing stuff. You know, we've got West Cheshire College doing stuff. We've got lots and lots going on and we're all working together. We've got Tesco's here supporting the community. You know, what more could we ask for? There's no official start date for when Blake and Events Playground was, was opened. Uh, rough estimates are that it was sort of late 60s. It's been, it's been operational since. Um, our, our emphasis is, is the children own the space. So a lot of the activities that take place, we, we like to do a lot of art, sports, general free play activities that the children take ownership of. So it's a full variety of, of activities. We're open every day of the year, so we, we can some days have 30, 40 kids in, some days we can have up to a thousand. As, as we can see now, the sun has come out and it's shining, but we really are a close-knit community that really comes together. You know, and there's there people there sharing, looking at things there, getting involved, you know, and, and, and what could be better than that? Blaken's a really strong community, so it's, it's, um, it's really useful if you look at a lot of the stalls, uh, uh, local companies, local businesses, local charities, um, a lot of the um, acts or local groups that have got together and the playground's a real part of Blake and it, it's been here for generations. There's, there's children that have grown up that have now got their own grandchildren that use the playground. So it's always had an influence and an, and an input into the festival uh, in some way, shape or form. The fact that it's now geographically right next door to the playground, it's given us a, a real opportunity to, to get more involved. We've put an assault course on, again because we're a playground we think it's important that children have that opportunity to play cost free. Um, we don't want children to be able to, in austere times, we need them to be able to have access to, to things for free. So, so it's been really good, really useful. The festival just goes to show what, what a great environment Blaken is, you know, it brings everyone together. There's many stores here, it's all different kinds of events going on, um, everyone just coming together really. I think it's a great festival. It gets people involved in Blaken. I've had a look around at all the stores. There's all sorts going on. It is a good community. It's a great community that always get together and always do things together. I think it's a great, great opportunity for people of Blaken to come together. I mean, I'm just looking around me here. There's people playing football. There's dancing going on, people eating, there's stalls. There's been the parade. It's just a, a fantastic event where people come together, even if, it, even if it's not so sunny. And you know, the parade just happened in the pouring rain. Everyone was there, there was crowds out, it's brilliant. As you know, the festival, it doesn't just happen in one day. We always start the planning from um, January onwards. And obviously next year, you know, again, the first Saturday of July, it will always happen on the first Saturday. Um, and we will start planning the next one and it'll be even bigger and better for next year.